Yo, what's going on guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm gonna teach you how to set up the pro scroller attachment, which is a scroll attachment for your controller that works on console and on PC. And make sure to watch this all the way through so you don't miss a single thing. That's enough talking for now, let's get right to it. Okay guys, once you get the Pro Scholar attachment, it'll come with the Pro Scholar itself, which you see right here. I chose the blue one because it's what I prefer. And it comes with the cord itself. It's a USB to a USB-C connector. And this thing here is used for when you want to connect it to far to reach places on your controller, but I don't really use this because I keep mine in between my triggers. And it also comes with this thing, these things here, which help keep the two wires going from your controller to your PC kind of organized. So these things here are very important. And I also bought that extra adhesive tape. I bought a lot of them because these really do come in handy. So if you ever get the chance to please do get them because trust me you're gonna need them so basically right now on the screen i'm gonna show you where you need to plug it into the back of your pc so it's the regular controller going to the pc and then it's this cord also going to another usb slot now you can put the rest of the stuff to the side and now we're gonna choose where we want to put the pro scroller on our controller and again what's so good about this controller is that you can place this anywhere on your controller if you wanted to place it here you could do that if you wanted to place it here you could do that if you wanted to use it like an extra paddle right here you could do that too that's what's really good about this but me personally i like keeping them in between my triggers so i keep my pro scroller right there so it's easy to reach right after i click on this button here so that's what we're going to do in this video so even before putting this tape on what you have to do is find a place where you find it most comfortable and for me it's here try playing around with it to see how it would kind of feel before you fully take the tape off and now since i already know where i want mine to be i'm going to take the red tape off okay make sure not to take the whole thing off and just like that as you can see i'm taking the red part of it off of the pro scroller and i'm putting it to where i know i want it to be and i've already tested so make sure you do that put it in your desired place mine is gonna be about right here kind of close to the trigger so i'm gonna do that and put it on this right here at a diagonal that's kind of too far make sure you don't press down all the way until you get it to where you need it to be so i hold it like this it being right here will be very optimal for me so let's keep that right there yeah right there that's perfect yep there we go for me this being right here that's totally perfect once you got it on and you haven't pressed down on it yet so what i like to do is as soon as i put it on i press this down for one minute even though the other instructions save a couple seconds i press it down for one minute so i'm gonna hold this down for one minute and make sure that when you're holding it down that you're not pressing on the scroll wheel part because it can't break if you press down too hard and now i'm counting to one minute i'm gonna speed this up just press down keep putting pressure on that part for one minute okay after doing that pressing it down for one minute so now you basically have to do a test you have to hold it by the pro scroller not by the scroll wheel but by the other end right here and it should be able to hold the controller like this but don't hold it for too long but if that works that means you did it correctly if you're having trouble putting the pro scroller in place with your controller plugged in it's best to keep it unplugged while you're doing this and plug it in after you're done with the process so what i'm gonna do is use one of these blue things right here to make this even more secure i'm gonna attach it to one side it might be hard at first but keep pushing you should hear a snap and you attach the other part to the other wire to keep it in place and to keep it more secure and this is how it should look like okay so i switched back to the regular fusion pro one because it's the one that i prefer so that's what i'm gonna do continuing on with this video okay now since we have this in place and you put it to where you wanted to i put it in between the triggers you may have put it somewhere else now let's go over the key binds that you need to set up before continuing on with this now we're gonna go into the kbm key bind settings so go to the settings right here go to the kbm part and go down to where you see the building section and this is where we want to be right here now whatever is in your building edit you want to clear it out and whatever is in your reset edit you want to clear that out as well so now click with your mouse this part here and now whether you want scroll wheel down or up to be your reset this is where you choose so mine is usually this way so that's what i'm gonna use for this one and that is scroll wheel down and do the same thing on reset building edit click on that and do the same key bind scroll wheel down or you may be scroll wheel up or your reset bind that you want to have and after doing that click on apply now say you want to bind the other one to a weapon slot or whatever it is you can bind it to jump too if you wanted to for example if i go to jump and i bind it to scroll wheel up right confirm it apply and if i go back you can see that now my scroll wheel up is my jump bind so you can do anything with this bind too if you really wanted to but in this case i'm just doing a weapon slot so again you can bind this to anything you want but i'm gonna do a weapon slot for this one so weapon slot one is where i always keep my shotgun and this is where i'm gonna click so you click on this one for me it's gonna be scroll wheel up and after doing that it's gonna ask you if you want to confirm so confirm that and then apply it and that's what it should be so every time i scroll up like this 
it'll bring me to my shotgun button. Okay, now the only downside again, like I said before, to having this attachment on is that it makes your sense feel kind of faster. For me, ex for example, for me, I play on 40% X and Y. Having this attachment on makes it feel like I play 42% really, but other than that, this attachment is super solid. I'll leave the link to where you can get the pro scroller in the description of the video. And when buying it, use code LIQUID10 to get 10% off and that also supports me. Finally made it to the end of the video. Yeah, thank you so much for watching it all the way through. And yeah, if you have any more questions as well, don't be afraid to ask in the comment section or join my community discord where you can ask me that personally and if you want to support me even further please consider using code liquid when buying something in an item shop that's all for today much love fam peace